In 2018, I had the amazing opportunity to travel to the Louisiana University's Marine Consortium, or LUMCON, for their Ocean.com event, a gathering of scientists and science communicators challenged to find ways to tell stories of coastal optimism. To counter all of the news of doom and gloom along the southern Louisiana coast, myself and the other participants spent time exploring to see and hear stories of success, stories of adaptation and resilience. In an area that is facing sea level rise, coastal subsidence, and increased storm intensity, there's one structure that I saw for the first time that was innovative and effective in addressing these environmental challenges. Dr. Denise Reed and Dr. Alex Kolker led separate field trips for our group to learn more about floodgates within levees. Now, I was familiar with the structure of a levee, knowing that it is a natural feature or one constructed by humans to control water flow and prevent flooding. But when I first saw this, I asked myself why in the world someone would want to cut a hole through a levee structure. Wouldn't that weaken the integrity of the levee and allow the energy from storm surges and rising water levels to flow right through? Dr. Reed provided my first introduction from the water on the ocean side of what she described as an open levee. This levee provides hurricane protection for what is behind or inside the levee system, Louisiana wetlands, homes, and businesses. For environmental reasons, there are openings in the levee that under non-storm conditions allow for a tidal exchange between both sides, necessary for fish, shrimp, and other organisms that use the wetlands as a nursery for their life cycle. When necessary, humans can control the access and impact from storm surges by raising and lowering the gates. Dr. Kolker took us on a closer exploration of the Bayou Petit Caillou floodgate, which we accessed starting at the Highway 56 roller gate. This earthen levee was constructed out of material from Louisiana and built to withstand a 50-year flood. Completed in 2016, this particular levee is 75 miles along its length, and I was surprised to learn that it was the residents of this local parish, Terrebonne Parish, that voted to give themselves a sales tax to pay for the gates. No federal funding was provided. At this location, I could clearly see the rock rubble in place to stabilize the material where the water flows through and the gates that can be manually raised and lowered for regulation. For the quilt, this engineered structure really is the story itself. I decided to make the floodgate the center of the quilt, with one image in each corner showing different views from alongside and on top, as well as from a distance. The fabric across the bottom represents the fish in the water and their ability to swim through this levee when the gate is open. On the sides, I used a fabric representing high energy waves or a storm surge that dictates if the gates are kept open or closed. You'll see that I matched the water level in the center panel to the height I made of the stormwater fabric. Then, above this levee on the sides and across the top is a blue sky. This money-themed fabric is perfect for the back of the quilt, representing the financial backing from the local residents to fund the construction of this flood control structure. As the theme of Ocean.com was coastal optimism, myself and my colleagues asked Dr. Kolker, who lives in southern Louisiana and works at LUMCON, what are his views on coastal optimism? This is his reply, which I'm sharing with his permission. He said, People with too pessimistic of a view of the world are less inclined to take action. A positive view will lead to action. As a society, we've been successful in the environment. Look at the Clean Water Act, removal of lead from water and paint, and the laws to remove sulfur dioxide to reduce acid rain. When people focus on the problems, they are decent at solving them. An optimistic perspective means you can get things done. Things are going to get really challenging. There's no way around it. But places that plan and implement plans will be much better off. I can't think of better words to describe the design and construction of floodgates in southern Louisiana. Certainly a story of coastal optimism. <laughs>